So in this video, we're going to learn about nature inspired computing. Nature inspired computing is a study of computing which took inspirations from Mother Nature. It has been realized that many of the hard problems can be solved if we observe the nature and we look to the principle of the natural species. When we talk of nature inspired computing, we talk of nature based intelligence and computational intelligence. Now, nature based intelligence and computational intelligence are both the mature branches of artificial intelligence. Now they both uh, possesses the common feature that is if a problem is given then they both mimic a, a natural system or a natural process to construct a solution which is optimal both in terms of quality and robustness. So nature based intelligence is Something which is already implicit in nature inspired algorithms, we can find in fuzzy logic systems, we can find in artificial neural networks and support vector machine and so on. So how we get the inspiration from the nature to solve our real life problem? We need to understand that every problem comes with a solution. The only thing is we need to uh, look at more closer to the problem we need to uh, understand the problem very carefully how we can do this we have to broaden our vision we need to look to the nature we look to we need to understand the principle of nature we need to uh, widen our knowledge then only we can able to understand the problem closely and we are unable to relate this problem to the nature and we can find that nature has a fantastic and excellent solution for this problem. So in computational intelligence, we talk about the artificial life. Artificial life is basically a human made system that possesses the essential properties of life. So with the power of nature and with the efficiency of computer, we can do two folded search. We need to understand that how the computational techniques can help us to study the biological phenomena. At the same time, we need to explore that how the biological techniques can help to solve the computational problem. We will see that we have been inspiring from the nature for a very long time. If you look at this picture, here we can see that this is the innovative design of the bullet train is actually got inspiration from the beak of this bird. So this is already been observed for long. Similarly, if you look at this, you can see that nature provides us very efficient and uh, simple solutions to a problem. This is another example. Here you can see that the structure of the natural species are also scientific in nature. They are scientific in itself. So we can see many of the things which exist in nature and they are actually scientific, they are creative and they can provide so much to us to solve our real life problems. So, so these are the examples which are purely inspired from our mother nature. So if you observe closely, you can realize that not only the creative design not only their physical structure, if you look to the working principle of the natural species like ants, bees, fishes, honeybee, you can find that they will guide us to solve many of the problems which actually feels or seems are very difficult to us. So in order to apply the, the natural processes to solve our problem, we need to understand the nature. Actually, the nature has uh, built on four basic uh, principles. We have four uh, basic properties of nature. That is, the nature has uh, uh, supports self-optimization, self-healing, self-learning, and self-processing. Self-optimization means the creatures of nature know how to efficiently uh, use the resources which are available to them. Self-healing means Whenever any problem comes to the uh, nature, uh, natural creatures, they know how to overcome it. 
self learning and self processing are like uh, the the terms which are used mutually that means the creature of nature know how to learn from the system and processes themselves to adapt with the system now these are the fundamental properties that are used or that can be used to solve many hard problems Now here comes optimization. In day-to-day -day life, we usually deal with the optimization problem. Optimization is basically achieving the best with available resources while satisfying the given constraints. Nature has done optimization in everything and we too apply optimization everywhere. Optimization is actually a way of life. Whatever we do, we always look for optimization. Like if I want to go to my office, I will be looking for the optimal route. Computer wants to do all the processes in optimal way. The router wants to route the packet in the optimal way so that it can take minimum time to reach from the source to destination. So everywhere we see that optimization is apl applied. Now, the, the more we know about the problem, the more we understand that how the optimization is applicable. So the very first thing required, if you want to apply the natural, uh, if you got, if you want to inspire from the nature to solve the real life problem, you need to understand the problem carefully. This is a very first requirement. So what is the goal of optimization? So the goal of optimization, if we say uh, mathematically, so in optimization we talk of maximization, we talk of minimization. So we have one objective function so mathematically we can say that we are looking for a value of the variable that can either maximize or minimize this objective function categorize these optimization into two ways means we can we have two ways to solve these optimization problem one is said to be deterministic and stochastic so in deterministic it's a well-defined data set so in each iteration, function and design variables are repeatable. Stochastic is a non-traditional approach and it involves some randomness. When I say randomness, it involves randomness in the strategy. It involves randomness in the population. And because of this, the problem seems to be complex. And this is what we see in our real life problem. This is the nature or the basic uh, thing that exists in the real life problem. That makes the problem complex, but the beauty of nature-inspired computing or the nature-inspired algorithm is these algorithms are only suitable to the problems which have randomness in them. Now, these problems, these objective functions are, uh, are maybe complex based on the number of objective in hand. So, we have single objective function, we have multiple objective function. Now, these are some optimization technique which is actually uh, inspired from nature and is very much uh, efficiently used to solve the real life problem. So, evolutionary algorithms, ant colony optimization, particle swarm, arterial immune system, bee colony optimization. These are some of the techniques which I have named here. But now, as the as it is realized that the nature can solve a huge variety of problems, we can see many variations of these techniques. Like if you talk of evolutionary algorithms, then evolutionary algorithms in applied in many domains and many of the modifications have been proposed in this. Similarly, in all these techniques, you may find a lot of information in various research paper. So I hope that uh, you have understood the basic idea of nature inspired computing